I'm just going to do a quick rundown of the engines that I've bought over the last 12 months for STWWW. In no particular order, but we'll start with the pop-up boats. Because for some reason I seem to have bought quite a few pop-up boats this year. On the top shelf there, we have the Tuca and Volta Vulcan, which is certainly the star of my collection. It's, uh, it's in pristine, on fire condition. As far as I'm concerned, it'll probably stay that way. And on the shelf below, we have Victory Industries, uh, Miss England, which looks as if it's built for speed. But uh, I don't know if I've got a bad example, but mine certainly doesn't go very fast at all. And going down to the bottom shelf, we have a couple of CK pop up boats. There's a number D there. I did have a D before. But it wasn't in working condition. And I've uh, recently found a one in working condition, and that's it. And then there's a number F there, which looks in worse condition, but he's actually uh, works quite well. And next to that we have Silver Streak. It actually uh, works a bit better than the Miss England. That's another replacement for a, a non-working example. This one does work. And while we're in this corner of the room, I'll show you the uh, Heracles crane there, which is one that I built myself, based pretty loosely on the Tubalcane Hercules. And also in this corner of the room, There's a marine engine there. Midwest Heritage. Which is similar to the one in the, uh, the Fantile, but not quite the same. Going over to the rollers shelf, there's a Bing Pluto there. And here in the mini section is an LS lock mini steam engine. I've wanted one of these for ages. Finally find one at a reasonable price. It's not a gold plated one unfortunately, but uh, still very nice. And it has the, uh, the little blacksmith there. And nearby in the small but not quite mini engine shelf, there's a Merit Standard. I had a SEL Standard for quite a long time, but uh, I decided for the sake of completeness I wanted a Merit version. As far as I know, the only difference is that the Merit one does not have the 
badge. Although it does have the two holes. Which I took as being suspect at first. I'm led to believe that the married ones did have the holes. Uh, they just didn't bother to put the, uh, the cell badges on. Up there on the top shelf, this uh, part of the collection, the one in the middle there with the green base, that's an IGLA engine. Which was made in the Czech Republic. There's a nice Bing stationary engine here. Nothing really fantastically special about it, except that it's the only um, stationary one I have with the reversing lever. The Pluto roller also has a similar lever, but this is the only stationary one I've got. Here on my uh, non-steam table is a uh, Stirling engine made by Davis Charlton, Charlton, I think that's right. And then down below on the floor underneath that table it's another non-steam engine I don't know what it looks like one but uh, it's actually an electromagnetic solenoid engine ignore the plug there that's not part of the uh, cylinder <laughs> That bit that looks like a cylinder is not. It's a dummy. In the red box underneath that, there are four coils which are switched on and off by a commutator, which you probably can't see there in the, in the dark. That's a switch operated by an eccentric on the crankshaft there. And that bit that looks like a boiler is uh, also a dummy. But it does contain something. It contains a mains transformer to transform down from 110 volts down to, I think it's about 25, 24 volts. And uh, over here on this shelf we have a Bassett Loke donkey engine. Nice little thing. Missing its burner unfortunately. does have a rather nice old looking, well probably genuinely old, oscillating cylinder. I hope you can see that better than I can on the camera. <laughs> As a postscript I've, uh, I've added a Victory Industries Electra, which is 
a battery powered version of the Miss England. Externally very very similar but internally completely different of course.